internet and welcome to the new medium writing progress tracker. So this template, I just finished editing it and it is a mashup of the 30 day medium writing challenge progress tracker, the medium publications overview template and uh, something else, which I'll show you in a bit. So we have three tabs. First of all, the an updated publications tab, which is a another mashup of everything I found here. So everything I already had on my template. I also added, oh, not here. I also added publications I found on Kiki Walters, uh, the essential listings guide to medium publications. Now, if you prefer Airtable, then you might be better off using this list. I'm a Google Sheets person, so obviously I put everything in here. On top of that, I went through the daily medium emails and found publications that I did not have, did not yet, what? <laughs> that I didn't yet have on my own sheet, on Kiki's overview, and I added them to this tab right here. So we have the name of the publication with a URL. This is extracted from the string, of, um, yeah, automatically, you don't need to do anything, but I reckon this makes it easier to, to find a publication and information about it if you want to decide to which publication you want to submit a piece. The theme, I added links to the submission guidelines, some good to knows. And now, once you're starting, or if you want to get added as a writer to more publications, you usually, well, always, you always need to request it. When you do, you can, for yourself, to keep an overview, add the date in this field right here. You can, on Mac, you do that with command and semicolon, and you click the little box. Now, you'll need to check every now and then if you're added as a writer already, and when you are, then you check this box, which will consequently turn green. And yeah, here are topics or tags that you can use, which I either took from the submission guidelines or from the, yeah, the headers I found in a publication. And if it was mentioned, I added how long uh, the editors will take before they reply to you or before you will know whether or not your story is accepted. Uh, so that is that. There's a bunch in here. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> uh, there are not exactly 200. There are around 140 publications added to this list. Right here you see that it, it the number jumps from 1 to 53. So here, if you click on either of these triangles... I left some space for you in case you come across new publications and then you can add them manually right here with the name, the theme, you can add a link to submission guidelines, anything you want to keep in mind and so on, topic tags. Yeah, so that is the publications tab. Moving on to the writing progress tab, scroll to the top. Now, here is where you, if you want, if you like to, uh, keep track of all the blogs, articles, essay you write for Medium. You manually add a date. Well, let's just take a new line, or I'll show you the examples I have here. The date you always add manually, today's date, a shortcut for that is command, semicolon on Mac. And you will see that this column C automatically uh, shows the the month but abbreviated and we we don't touch this column because we need it in the dashboard later on so date month was automatically shown if i always like to add a draft url which is clipped because you don't need to see the url if you want to go to the draft quickly you can just click the url you're taken there now when i finish a draft i like to check this little box I add the title right here. When I'm done with the entire piece, I wrote the draft, I edit it uh, several rounds. Then I use the medium editor to add the total word count. Why? 
because it will show up here and later on in the dashboard. Here, uh, this is a new section. So as you know, you can add up to five topics or tags to your Medium articles. And I want to, or I've started playing with tags to see if, whether the frequency in which I use these tags affects me getting top writer status. I already have one. So, uh, yeah, here you can select, you can go to dashboard. And here I took the tags that are eligible for top writer status. And I found these in Christina God's introducing the full list of medium top writer tags in 2022. I added all of them right here. So I'll typically go through this list, find an appropriate tag, add it here. One tag or topic, one field. And it will probably be a combination of these uh, top writer tags and tags that are required by a publication, which could be 30 day challenge. This will be a, a combination of those two. Then if you're not sure yet where you want to submit it to, you can select something from the list here, by the way, in these two columns, they will only show publications where you are already a writer for. So as long as you check this box, I'll check a few more and show you. Whenever this box is checked, or everything that is checked will appear in these drop downs. Because it, it makes no sense to have all these publications shown up, even though you're not yet a writer for them. So you select the publication you want to submit to, you enter today's date or whenever you submit it. You'll need to check in when you get a reply and when you do, you enter the date here. You'll see how much time has lapsed. Oh, and after you add the date submitted, I always like to select the little pending thingy here. And as soon as it's published, I, if I don't, if I don't forget, I'll check this box for published. I'll add the publish date and the URL to the final piece to have everything in my little spreadsheet. So that's that. Moving on to the dashboard. Here we have a cute overview of the total number of words that you wrote. And this again is taken from this is why I like to track how many words I wrote. It's taken from this box right here, but just displayed a little larger. This is the total number of publications pitched. Let's go back and check that exactly. This is the last one. Let me check one thing. Yeah, I don't know why it does that, why the latest pub in the list shows up here, but let's ignore it for now. The publications you, oh, I need to change this title too. Anyway, um, yeah, you have the total number of pubs where you are still waiting for reply, where your piece was accepted, accepted to and rejected. And, oh, I forgot that one. And how much time there is left until you finish a challenge, if you want to do a challenge. So if we go all the way to the bottom, Let's say if you have a deadline or you, you, you only want to do a 30 day challenge, then you can double click the field that is in gray right here. It says it right here. Double click field B379 uh, to change deadline. And then you select whatever, yeah, whatever you want to select. This will update automatically. And so will this. Then in case you also want to hunt for top writer status, I added this overview. Here again, we have all the topics. These are the current top writer tags, but if you want to add your own, just in case you want to track what effect that has on your performance, the performance of your articles, whatever, then you can 
that I, I left a lot of space here so you can add your own tags and for each month you will see exactly how often you used a specific tag let's copy this in here because why not there we go and you don't need to do anything in this entire section this is all updated automatically the only thing you might want to do is when you get to it add your own tags and these will also update automatically now i still need to write the accompanying blog when it's there i'll add it to the description box under this video in the comment section and i'll also add this video to the blog so yeah have fun using the template thanks for watching this walkthrough and in case you have suggestions for improvement feedback and so on let me know